Peeps, what's going on? Back with another episode, and this one is slightly different. You can kind of see here that we are in my brand new studio. I did promise to everyone that I'd be making some sort of a studio review, which will be coming. In this episode, I really wanted to talk about how to build the ultimate YouTube studio in general. So I won't be talking too much about the tech that lives here. It's more so on how I built the actual studio itself. I think that makes sense. So I think what makes most sense is actually to talk about first the new desk setup, which I have, and you know my 5K MacBook setup. Let's go take a look. So this desk is actually a bit of an Ikea hack, and it seems to be the go-to YouTuber setup. So if we come down here, this is actually a kitchen countertop. It's a, just a piece of laminate, 108 centimeters, I believe, long, and it sits on top of two Ikea Alex jars. Most of the stuff that you see in here, Ikea, I tried to keep it budget. All white everything, that was the look I was going for, with maybe a bit of orange, as you guys know that I love orange. And as I mentioned, not gonna talk about the tech too much, and underneath, do not mind the cable management, we actually just have two standard, once again, Ikea legs. I think these were five bucks each. I decided just to drill straight into the cabinet, since we've got some pretty expensive stuff sitting on top, it had a bit of sag or a bit of, I guess, give to it. You wanna make sure your tech stays safe. And I think if you're going for a desk this wide, you kinda of need these extra supports. So I decided to drill two for extra support. So this chair here kinda of swings back and forth between both editing bays. And for all of you that remember, this was my old desk setup from my old studio. Kinda of brought it over to make this makeshift L. The Ikea Alex drawer that sits here, shifted it sideways. Once again, cable management, no judging please. On top sits the 5K iMac. And I still think it's a pretty dope setup. And once again, Ikea hacks, FTW. And the one thing that, oh, just irks me the most, I forgot to paint this little strip here in the wall. It bugs me every time I record a video. So I guess after we're done recording this, this little strip here will be painted white. I know someone is gonna tell me in the comments that I missed something. So stop trolling right now. All right, coming on over to the last side. Once again, we are Team Ikea here. I don't even know what this is called. I'll try to leave everything linked down below, of course. But I do have a 4K TV. I've got some pretty dope gaming stuff coming into the studio. Fingers crossed. Next week, you want to stay tuned for that. I finally have some of my artwork up. I kind of had that lying around on the floor in my old studio. Huge fan of Zelda. And I actually made these myself. I know a ton of you were actually asking what they were or where I got them. If you guys are interested, maybe potentially could try to figure out a way to sell some of this stuff. Maybe the Majora's Mask guy has to be my fave. And I guess the one thing that I want to ask you guys is, I know that I love my Star Wars Lego, just Lego in general, where I should keep all of this stuff. I know I've got, you know, my TIE fighter over here, the AT-AT walker. We've got the boosted board sitting in the back. I kind of just need more space in my studio. And don't forget your <laughs> that little guy. Can't forget this guy, which obviously lives uh, on the other side. I mean, like, the door is open. That's pretty badass. So I guess the next big thing, if you're making a YouTube studio, especially if you're into tech, you need some sort of desk workspace. Once again, Team Ikea over here. You can get pretty much any color that you're looking for. And what makes this studio, I think, somewhat unique is this really makeshift overhead cam build that I've got going. So it's essentially three pieces of metal kind of welded at the bottoms. We've got a little quarter inch connector up top, A6300 for the overhead shots. And I guess some of the things that live behind the set, which you normally don't see on cam, we've got a tripod that usually has the camera on it. B-roll cam that sits here, microphone, a small HD to see what I'm seeing as my camera doesn't flip around. Um, and I actually had this set up in my previous studio. If you guys ever build a studio, I will tell you, do not stick this stuff on the wall because it is the biggest pain in the butt to get off. When I was removing these panels, bits of paint were coming off. I was getting into the drywall, had to plaster it, just a nightmare. And these are actually now sitting on two pieces of drywall. So this actually moves 
but it's protecting the walls behind. Definitely pro tip 101 in anyone's studio that you build. Trust me. And maybe the last thing we'll talk about for any kind of studio has to be the lighting. And this is maybe something that I'm the least happy with in my studio. I went for four track lights and I just, I'm not happy the way that the light's falling. It seems a bit too harsh. I tried to modify them with some wax paper over top. You're almost creating a bit of a soft box, but maybe out of everything, that's what I'm looking to change next. Track lights almost end up like spotlights and you don't get a uniform lighting across the entire space. Kind of very frustrating. So I hope this kind of overview gave you some ideas on how to create your very own YouTube setup. And that includes if you're into tech or you're just trying to become the next vlogger. Food? F food reviews. Food. Coffee? Co coffee? Coffee Coffee reviewer. Yeah, I, I, I think you essentially got some of the tips. Remember, everything is linked down below and big thanks to this homie for holding the camera. Every studio comes with a filmer extraordinaire. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace.